Hello, in the previous video, I showed you how you could build these cloud infrastructures on Brainboard. So the AWS RDS, the Azure Serverless, the GCP load balancer, and the OCI. In today's video, you are going to learn on how you can manage these multi-cloud infrastructures across multiple environments for multiple teams. So let's get started. As a first step, we are going to make sure that the Terraform code that has automatically been generated from your design is actually valid. To do so, simply need to go to the deployment tab and here you have all your Terraform files. And now we are going to do a Terraform plan. Here, Brembo will do a Terraform init and everything is green, as you can see here. So it means that the infrastructure is ready to be deployed. As a quick reminder, as Brainboard is a collaborative solution, we have also implemented the locking mechanism. So here Brainboard is able to detect all ongoing action. To, to be able to do an apply, you need to switch off the plan and then you do the apply and deploy this cloud infrastructure on AWS. You can do exactly the same thing for Azure Serverless, GCP load balancer and OCI. Here you have the status of your infrastructure from work in progress to now approved. But now we can do the update. Let's say now that you're working within the team A, that you build this cloud infrastructure and that the team B would like to use it. Simply need to go here, clone this architecture from team A to team B. Next, here, you can keep the name as it is, or you can modify it. And then here you have two options. Either you want to keep the infrastructure synced with each other or simply do a clone. I will show you the other use case. Here we do the clone. So here in literally two seconds, team B has this infrastructure with the diagram, the code, here, the variables, the output, and also the readme if you want. So now we will do the same thing for Azure Serverless. So here, we clone the architecture, team B. We keep the name as it is. Here, we do the sync. And here, in literally two seconds, Team B has the Azure serverless infrastructure. So now, here, you can modify it. And here, you can see that these infrastructures are synced with each other. So everything that I'm going to do in one environment for one architecture will be synchronized with the other one. For example, if here, I decide to not keep this resource here i am in team b let's say i want to see what the team a how the team a has been impacted i am in team a here so and here the only modification that will be done will be on the variable so now we have it here we can say, for example, that we would like to create a template from this architecture here, either organization or public organization. We keep the name as it is, or we modify it. Let's say, for example, we're going to say for team B. And here we publish it in the catalog. So now we go to team B. We open the template catalog. Here are all the catalog. Here is the catalog and here are all the infrastructure that you can use. So here we have GCP. Let's say that is this one that you have converted. Here, in literally two seconds again, you have the design. You have the code, 
here you have all your Terraform files. So Team B can actually use it. Now let's say that we would like to go here, Team A, OCI, so it's this one. So now we can do, for example, either a clone or a template. Let's say we want to just to clone it for Team B to use it. And here, as you can see, the Team B has all these multi-cloud infrastructures. So now what we can do is that, for example, here, Team B would like to combine multiple infrastructures. So here, we go to the templates and we look for, for example, 7S. This one. Here, you either clone it into a new architecture or in the current. You have it here. We'll do the same thing for team B, the one we previously created here into the current architecture. And here we go and do the same thing for OCI. And here, as you can see, you have OCI here, you have GCP here, you have Azure and you have AWS. Now what you can do is, for example, you go to OCI and here you are going to group them. Let's say OCI resources. Save. Then here you are going to do the same thing for GCP. So you select all of these resources. Here you say GCP resources save do the same thing for azure resources save and for aws resources as well And as you can see, you have created all your files here for the AWS resources. For Azure. For GCP. And for OCI. So like that, you can build multi-cloud strategies directly on Bring Board. So I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you build your own use case on Bring Board. Have a great day.